sauce. We asked you to nominate your friends and your family members who have the best tomato sauce. And joining us today for our very first nominee, Ted Gennard from Uncasville. Ted, thanks for coming in. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's a pleasure. So before we get to the sauce and why you think your sauce is the best, there's a whole story behind this. You, you didn't nominate yourself. You actually nominated your mother, who passed away a number of years ago. She's right. no longer with us. Why'd you do that? Well, I grew up with her sauce. I've always had my friends mother's sauces, restaurant sauces, etc. It might be a sentimental thing, it might not, but I always thought hers was the best. Well, we all think our mom's sauce is the best, but you, you brought her spoon, right? This spoon is probably 70 years old. You can see the wear on it from hitting it on the pots. And that's the spoon that she used to make her sauce. Magic spoon. <laughs> so you grew up having this sauce. You must have thought it yeah. was the best. When did you start making it? She passed the recipe on to you, right? Yeah. I, I started making it about mm, 1972. Okay. I, I probably did it before then, but without my mother around since 1972. And there are certain ways to make this that make it hers. Even what we're seeing here with the strainer, right? Right. Uh, typically, she would take uh, aluminum foil and make a little stack, and that would keep uh, let the steam escape and also um, keep it from spattering all over the stove, and you just kind of open it up and get down in there. But the colander works very well, too. The trick is with sauce is don't cover it, because when you cover it, the condensate drips down in there. It weakens the sauce, and it actually turns it orange. Well, as you see, this sauce is nice and red. Well, let's get to the sauce. Let's take this off. Okay, so you have meatballs and sauce in here. Right. What makes it special and unique to your family? Well, the, uh, the method of doing it, 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 it has to cook, as far as I'm concerned, four hours. Got it. Anything less than that, the flavors aren't really going to be Ingredients? Develop. Anything unique? Uh, there's nothing really that unique in the ingredients. The... the um, Puree and crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, the seasoning. You got to taste it, right? Go ahead. But now here's a question. Is it the same as when your mom made it, when you make it? I mean, there's got to be something special. Well, there's always a little variance whenever you make something like that. You know, there's always going to be a little variance yeah. depending on, you know, how, how long it cooks. If you guys uh, what could are the smell meat products. This. Oh, my goodness. And uh, are you going to pass this on to anyone in your family? Uh, my wife. Yeah. I don't, we don't have any children, Here. but... It's always worth the one taste, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so hot. But it's so good. Ted, thank you so much for coming oh, in.